Hey guys, I'm Melissa. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am a registered dietitian and I talk about all things food and nutrition on my channel. Um, today we're switching it up a little bit and we're doing a current favorites. So today I'm just going to show you all the things I've been loving in like end of summer, early fall. So yeah. I'm pretty sure I have not mentioned this before, but um, this is the big shampoo from Lush. This is the best shampoo ever. Um, it is, it's a little expensive. It's like, I think like $24 for this little guy, but you really don't need that much. And honestly, it's kind of like a special occasion shampoo. Like if I know that I'm just going to be like washing my hair and then putting my hair up for the next three days to go to work. I won't use this. I'll just use like a cheaper shampoo. But if I know that I want my hair to look good, I'm going to be wearing my hair down. I will always use this. It's a sea salt shampoo for soft hair and incredible volume. It smells like the beach. It's got like actual chunks of sea salt in it. Um, and it's really different from any other shampoo it does lather up but not as much as like your typical shampoo and it just makes your hair so soft and gives it lots of volume and it's honestly amazing the difference that I notice when I use this shampoo versus like my regular not so great shampoo <laughs> next I will move to skincare and I have been using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost water gel moisturizer for a couple weeks now I think I have like my skin gets oily throughout the day but I definitely need to put a moisturizer on before I put my makeup on so I don't like using like a thick moisturizer in the morning so this is perfect because it is like a gel consistency and it honestly when you rub it into your skin ends up feeling like water and then it sinks in pretty quickly so I have honestly been loving this um, and I got this from I think Target I feel like it was like 15 bucks or something like that and this is gonna last forever too this is the physician's formula butter bronzer um, and I have the shade bronzer I don't know if I feel like there might be a darker one but maybe there's only one I don't know um, but this is honestly so good it is the perfect color for my skin it looks so natural this smells amazing like it honestly smells like vacation it's like like coconut sunscreen which sounds really weird but it smells so good so it's I don't know maybe like $11 or something like that so I love this favorite bronzer I have ever tried and finally for beauty I got this in my birch box a month or so ago and it is the pixie by Petra um lip gloss in the shade sheer rose i'm really not a lip gloss person if i wear anything on my lips i like it to be like a matte color but this is the perfect color it's honestly like your lips but better and i've gotten so many compliments when i wear this and it's honestly just such a good color i definitely think i'm going to purchase this when i run out of the sample first favorite is this lovely sweatshirt right here it says Hufflepuff Quidditch and yes I am a Hufflepuff at first I was a little embarrassed to be a Hufflepuff but I have fully embraced it Hufflepuff is freaking awesome and I wanted to get some Hufflepuff gear to commemorate my acceptance of me being a Hufflepuff so I got this sweatshirt on Etsy and it's so comfortable and yeah i love it my second clothing favorite is these jeans which you're not gonna be able to see i mean look they look like jeans these are the asos farley jeans and i had been wanting kind of like a looser like mom jean or boyfriend jean so i decided to order them and they're so comfortable they're the full name is the asos farley slim mom jeans i believe um and they're kind of just that like they are like the mom jean kind of fit but they're not super sorry my dogs are playing and teasing so they are like looser but they aren't baggy um they're probably not 
the most flattering style on me just because I do have some curves on my body and but I honestly don't really care. My first food favorite this month is something called the produce box. The produce box is a local produce delivery um, and every single week you pick your box or you can like custom make your box and it's made of all local seasonal produce and they deliver it once a week and I think it's pretty affordable the boxes range from like 23 to like 27 28 dollars I think oh my god guys chill can you play, can you not play later come on so the boxes range from like 23 to like 27 28 dollars I think I don't know I just love getting it it's cool to be supporting local farmers and getting this seasonal produce um, and it also I think forces me to be more intentional about what I'm cooking um, all week because I have that produce that I need to use up and I'm not just going to the grocery store every day to buy new stuff if that makes sense. So. Also I don't know probably a month and a half ago I decided to start doing meatless Monday and um, I have been loving it quite honestly. My boyfriend is a meat eater like he a meal is not complete unless it has meat so every monday for me has kind of been like a challenge to make this really great recipe so that he can see that a meal can be amazing without meat in it so i've been loving making new things every monday um last monday i made this amazing butternut squash galette i think that's how you produce, pronounce it um, oh, it was so, so good. And honestly, every recipe that I've made so far has been so good and I've been loving trying new things. And speaking of Meatless Monday, my last food favorite is something that I've made twice so far for Meatless Monday and that is jackfruit. It comes in a can and basically it tastes like whatever you season it as and it has the consistency of like shredded pork or shredded chicken. And I honestly thought that it was like gonna kind of be too good to be true, but it's not. It is so good. Um, the first time I made it, I made them as tacos and it honestly tasted like chicken tacos. Second time I made it, I made them as barbecue sandwiches. Honestly, it tasted exactly like pork barbecue. And my boyfriend said like if he didn't, if I didn't tell him it wasn't meat, he would not have known. I've been loving making that and I really want to make more things with it. So if you have any really good jackfruit recipes, then please leave them below because I'm really excited to try more things. I have finally jumped on the Game of Thrones bandwagon. So the last two years when I've lived with my boyfriend, he loves Game of Thrones. So I've watched the last two seasons with him because I live in the same house as him and it's kind of hard to avoid it. So I've watched the last two seasons and like I've enjoyed it but it's always been just kind of like a little too much for me I'm not huge on like the violence and the gore um but then this past season I thought was just so good and then it made me finally want to go back and watch it from the beginning so that's what I'm doing and I like it <laughs> um the first few seasons are a lot like it's a lot just watch the red wedding so I'm taking a little bit of a break because it's just, it's a lot, but it's really good and I like it. So there we go. That's one of my favorites. If you know me, you know my favorite podcast ever is My Favorite Murder. Of course, I've listened to every single episode and so now I only get it once, maybe twice a week. So I had to find other true crime podcasts to listen to. So two that I really liked that I have completely finished, um, one was Up and Vanished. The entire season is about the same case. It's an old case that kind of had just been cold for a long time and people kind of just stopped looking into it, I guess. And this reporter, you know, just kind of brings it back up, starts talking to these new, new people. And um, yeah, without spoiling anything, it is really kind of amazing what happens with the case so that's a really good one to listen to the other one that i really enjoyed was uh someone knows something and there's two seasons of that out um and again the entire season is about one case it's a canadian podcast and 
their Canadian accents in this podcast are just so strong and just so adorable and it makes it listening to a murder podcast way more enjoyable. I also recently started listening to one called Zealot and it's about cults which I mean everyone loves a good cult I feel like. There's only like seven episodes I think of that out but each episode's about a different cult. Um, starts with Scientology which is just like the mother load. I always love listening to things about Scientology and that is an Australian girl so again, the Australian accents just make it all so much more enjoyable. And that one's actually pretty lighthearted. I mean, there's the occasional death, but it's it's pretty lighthearted. It's not like super murdery. So even if you don't like listening to murders, <laughs> um, you would probably like Zealot. My final favorite is this beautiful baby. Look how, oh, yes. So this is my new philodendron. Um, I've been wanting like a like a plant that hangs over for a really long time because we have this shelf above the TV. It's got a bunch of plants on it, but it just needed a little something else. Um, and I finally found this guy who is just perfect beauty, um, and it just completes the shelf so well. All right, well I think that is all I have for today. Um, I feel like I had a lot of favorites, but. I don't know, whatever. Um, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Oh yeah, subscribe if you haven't already because, sorry to point at you, but <laughs> like 80% of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. So just hit the button, you know, and then you get to see all my videos. Yay. So, um, yeah, okay. Thanks for watching. I will see you next week.